Hello there ladies and gentlemen, my name is Simon here with another episode of The Bad Batch. Uh, the sun is shining behind me, um, whether that's an indicator of good things to come, I'm not sure. Uh, we have a double header today, we have two episodes of The Bad Batch to watch. Um, I don't know why they've released two at once, it could just be thematic, you know, because the episodes relate to each other. I don't think it's to do with the Super Bowl, like The Last of Us um, having to be moved around, but... Either way, I'm happy. It's two episodes. Um, now, for those of you who remember, a couple of weeks back, I mentioned about being contacted by Disney, um, just about a small project they were working on. And for those of you who may not have seen it, there was a trailer for The Mandalorian Season 3 last week called Phenomenon. And it featured yours truly, only for about three or four seconds. But still, it was pretty cool to be, you know, a featured reactor in an official Star Wars trailer. Um, and Zuko again trying to take the limelight. You notice how he sat exactly where the sun is beaming down, because you know he is a he is a whore for the sun, you know as all cats are. Um, but yeah, it was pretty cool to be a part of that. Um, you know, it was out of the blue that Disney contacted me about it, so I was I was very happy, and I found it quite ironic at how I've had so much difficulty in the past trying to use Disney's material that they contacted me asking for permission to use my material i felt like part of me like a really small part of me felt like saying no and then another small part of me thought you know what if i copyright struck them and then like the 99 percent of me that was fanboying was like yeah let's do this that's awesome um so yeah it was cool it was a, it was a good experience um so the bad batch we are f six episodes in i think um last episode you know we returned to kashik uh, there was lots of cool references, you know, obviously Gung Gunji. I'm calling him Gunji. I know it's probably Gungi, but uh, Gunji from, you know, the Clone Wars, the Padawan Wookiee um, who we saw get his Kyber crystal on Ilum with Yoda and some of the other Padawans returned um, had been, you know, sold into slavery by these weird robots. Um, and then we ended up back on Kashyyyk where we saw the Empire teaming up with Trandoshans, um, bad things happened. We saw the spiders from the Old Republic, um, or Knights of the Old Republic, should I say? Uh, which at the time I didn't realize. You know, those little buggers going around Dantooine. You know, uh, they they were just a menace. And you know, it should have really been the the kind of the face horn should have really been the giveaway. But I just didn't realize at the time. Um, so that was pretty cool. And I think we are still going to be on Kashyyyk going into this episode as well. So uh, you know. I've enjoyed this season. I know a few people get a little bit, you know, cranky about filler episodes and whatnot, but I've really enjoyed it so far. Um, by the way, over on Twitter, I've currently got a, um, a not gonna lie link up. So if you want to ask me anything anonymously about anything at all, go and check it out and send me a question and I'll answer it on Twitter. You know, um, these episodes, the first one might come out a little bit quicker than the second one because I allocate a bit of time to do the first episode in the morning, then I go to work. So the second episode I'll have to do after work. So uh, yeah, forgive me if it's a bit late coming out for the, the second one. Anyway, let's jump in. Let's watch The Bad Batch. Okay, back on Coruscant. It's a clone bar. I oh, know there's, there's aliens there too. Uh oh. I sent a message to Rampart. Gave him the chance to tell the Senate the truth. Uh oh. Before I did it myself. Oh no. Rampart. Rampart's got history with killing clones. Please. I need your help. Together we can. Yeah. Oh. Oh, this takes me back. Clones being chased on Coruscant. Nice moves. Oh, damn. Look at Coruscant. In animated form, it's so much better than it was previously. Like, if you go back to the second season of The Clone Wars, it looks so much better. That's the uh, the lady from Rogue One. Right now, the costly creation of a new 
Secretary. I didn't realize she was a senator. Perhaps where you reside, Senator Pablo. And what about the interests of the clone troopers? Why are they not included within this legislation? I like how we got one side on the left. Um, you know, advocating for peace and the rights of the clones. Is that a subtle little... Oh, there's probably a plan. Be certain there are no more surprises. I like this. I like this back backseated politics. Can you make that happen? Well, no. But what to say, what do they do? Yeah, the Empire declares us obsolete. We know. I'd rather be out there fighting those insurgent groups that keep popping up. They were bred for war, and they will only ever be happy in war. And what happens when you're too old to fight? Can you go back to the same bar, or is... after nearly being killed? Why not? He's lied to you, to everyone. Uh oh, he's gonna. Oh, he's gonna die. I feel this senator's probably going to die as well. Ended up dead. You didn't look well, Trooper. Oh dear. This is the five scenario all over again. If you don't believe me, CT 0409. Everything's fine. Damn, is this whole episode going to be on uh, Coruscant? Because I'm, I'm down for that. I really am. Who is he talking to? Ooh, intrigue galore. If I had been present, perhaps more could have been saved. It was a tragedy. You say it was a, a worldwide storm? How is the Senate not, like, questioning that? Indeed. Senator Chuchi, you've received a secure communication. From whom? Uh oh. Who is it going to be? Yes. They have a droid. They must be important. It's all right. Wait here. It's not going to be Mom Mothma. I don't think. I don't think it'd be Luthen this early. Ah, Bail Organa. These insurgencies that have arisen, their numbers are growing. And the Emperor is afraid. Mm -hmm. If systems begin to revolt as they did with the Republic, that will threaten his new empire. That's why they want a new army. You say? Weathered thousands of storms over the years. Yep. Yet it suddenly wiped off the map. See, these are the simple questions that if you ask them. It would make you realize that does not make sense. He said he was assigned to the ship that opened fire. I mean, how long is this after Order 66? It can't be any more than a year. Have you located the clone? Ooh. Not yet understood. The mask, the front of the mask looks a bit like crosshairs. He's got a sniper. I don't know. By the way, cool looking character. Look at this derp. Look at this derp right here. Where are you? Mm. Were you followed? If you can get to me, so can they. Oh, he's starting to get the, the paranoia. Look, Senator, you're not listening to me. I suppose, like, how many Kaminoans? Oh, yeah. She is going to die. How many Cameron Owens died in the attacks? Evidence you want is aboard Rampart ship. Check the bridge's command lock. Oh dear. He's about to die. Yep. Yeah. 
The only thing that makes me think it's not Crosshair is that he's, he doesn't seem to be as good a shot as Crosshair. Alright, I spoke too soon. No, you won't. Is someone going to show up last minute? That's the contact. Is it Luthen? No, it's a clone. You're right, Senator. It's, is that Rex? Rex. Yes. What is going on? For a moment, I thought it was Cody. You could tell me. Come on, take the mask off. A clown. Yeah, I can't. It's too dark. It's too dark, I can't see! Who is it? What is it? Because Rex knows Crosshair, so it can't be Crosshair. You're not wearing any uh, it's a clone, though. Who do you work for? So what does that make you? A super clone. Ooh. We've seen that before. Damn, are we about to get a civil war between the clones? Yeah, so that end bit was really frustrating because when they were taking off his mask, I could not see a damn thing. Like, I could see the outline of a clone trooper's face, but I could not make out details. Um, and that is one of my pet peeves of TV these days is that, and movies, it just seems like everything is so dark. You know, it's like... I get it, it can add atmosphere, and it's it's realistic at times, but it's like, this is supposed to be a visual medium for the audience. It's like, you can afford, very much like the theatre of the mind, to imply that it's dark, but just let us see. Let us see clearly what's going on. Um, really good episode. Again, I like the episodes that take place in the Empire on Coruscant, um, because there's a lot of intrigue there. There's a lot of unexplored territory. And, you know, the inner workings and showing us how it becomes that, you know, because getting rid of the clone army is not an easy thing. It's not something you can just sweep under the rug and pretend that they never existed. Um, you know, they clearly took a drastic measure in destroying Kamino. And, I mean, I've got to say, the excuse of a storm really is not... It's got to be one of the worst excuses I've ever heard for a uh, a cover-up. Because immediately I'd be like, hang on, this is a planet which is, like, stormy a lot, you know? And like, like you know, they were saying, the city was designed so that it could submerge itself, you know? And, and you know, again, I don't quite know the, uh, the topography and the geography of, of Camino. I'm guessing it's entirely an ocean world. But there's got to be more than just the one city, really, you know? Because they seem to imply that there isn't, but that the only thing that could really be destroyed by a storm is the one city. I don't know. And what happened to the Kaminoans who, you know, I know some escaped, but what happened to the rest of them? Like, surely there was more than just the one cloning facility. It wasn't just that one city on the planet. I, I don't know. Um, Yeah, it just seems to me like the Senate is, again... At one point, being just lazy and just being like, whatever, we don't really care about the clones. You know, they are, by the by, they are the past, they're history. We want to move forward. And then you've got the other side, which is, you know, trying to fight for them. But, you know, it's it's that side that I would have thought would have questioned it a bit more about, you know, the uh, reason for the disaster. Um, but no, again, a really a good episode. You know, it felt very much like um, when Fives learned about the chips and you know you've got this clone who is getting paranoid being chased through the streets of coruscant ultimately meets a deadly end um you know it felt very much it was a throwback to that mixed in with you know the uh the senators and some of the the um the newer politics of the story because again i'm not quite sure how far after order 66 this takes place i would assume a year at the very least. 
Um, you know, so it's it's come to a point now where they we would expect them to really start off kicked in with this uh, retirement of the clones. You know, the changing of the Republic Army into the Imperial Army. You know, that kind of situation. Um, and you know, it, it very much feels still kind of like the Republic days. Um, I enjoyed seeing the Senate. You know, and seeing Massa Maida in the middle, you know, and the implication that the Emperor now doesn't really go to the Senate anymore, uh, because it's it's all a bit of a show, you know. Whilst he's consolidating his power, he's letting them play Senate, but he's not directly getting involved. And, you know, I think that's a uh, a clear sign of, you know, things to come. Um, And it makes it more impactful when he does show up, you know. But yeah, there was a very interesting way they kind of structured that there. The people on the right side of the screen wanted the military and they were, you know, supporting the implementation of a more fascist regime. People on the left were trying to, you know, look out for the rights of the clones, you know, trying to push back against the militaristic, um, you know, progress. And uh, I don't know if that was intentional. I'm going to leave it there because I know... People don't like politics in Star Wars, even though it's always been political. Um, but yeah, no, a really interesting episode. So I'm guessing the next one, it will you know pick up on Kashyyyk. And we probably won't get another uh, Empire episode for a little while. But I'm, I'm interested to see who that clone at the end was, the assassin. I thought at first it would be Crosshair, but apparently not. He wasn't good enough shot to be Crosshair. But he seemed to imply that he was a believer, and so that makes me think that maybe we're going to be getting some kind of a, a clone civil war, like the religious extremists who believe in the cause and, you know, will fight to the death of the Empire, and the freedom fighters who want to, you know, try and break away and they can see through the lies and, you know, they try and survive for their own, you know, sake. Be interesting. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I will see you a little bit later on for the second episode.